Hey guys, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School, and we're back in Photoshop this time again. And um, I'm going to show you how to do realistic sun rays coming through a window, like you see right here on the screen. Um, I saw an image last week somewhere on Flickr that was just wow, and it had these this light coming through the window, and I thought, geez would be really cool if I could show people on YPS how to do this. So I fiddled around with it and came up and read a lot and uh, found what I think is a pretty good way of doing realistic sun rays coming through a window. So let's get right to it. So we're going to go from this to this. Now you saw that I unclicked three times and clicked back three times um, because of course you would do sun rays coming from all three windows on that side. And in this tutorial I'll show you the first one and then you can just do the same for all three after that. Alright, so let's get right to it. Now the first thing we need to do is to create a new layer. So let me bring the layers palette up so you can see this and all you need to do is go at the bottom here and it says create new layer you just click on that and let me move that back out of the way and then you select your lasso tool um, the one the polygonal one and you just go to the top here select your top border don't go down right away because sunlight doesn't go straight down now you want to create a beam of light and a beam of light has width to it. It's not straight, so you want to go all the way around and come back. And it kind of spreads. You know how light spreads when it comes through a window? And then you create your beam this way. It's probably a little too wide down here for my liking, but uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, you'll, you get the idea. What's important is that you do not create a really, really narrow beam. When light comes out, it, it has like, like a cone effect. All right, So that's what you want to try and create, as realistic as possible uh, by knowing the principles of light. Now the next thing you want to do is fill that with a paint bucket. So select your paint bucket, make sure your color top color is white, and then just go into your selection and click white. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. The next thing you want to do is deselect this um, your selection by hitting Control D on your computer. Now, next thing you want to do, as you can see, light isn't rough like this. It's actually very soft on the edges. Life spread, light spreads, so you want to spread that light a little bit. And you, I do that by going into Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then going between uh, between 15 and 30, depending on your image. And this one, I think around 25 looks good. Yeah, I like that. Perfect. Now, of course, we're getting there, but we're not there yet. Now light isn't solid it's not opaque it's actually translucent um, so what we want to do now is bring the opacity of this layer down to our desired liking and I think around 25 percent looks pretty darn good for this image alright let me move that out of the way now of course another principle of light is that it doesn't shine equally all the way to the bottom here, it actually fades. The strength of the light fades as it goes down. So we want to fade that a little bit. And we do that, bring the layers palette back up again. And what we're going to do is create a layer mask by clicking on this little uh, icon here. So let me just click on that. And you can see that a layer, uh, a mask appears here. And you've got to make sure that it's white. All right. And then the next thing you want to do is get your gradient tool and make sure up here in the tools palette you you select black to transparent and then moving this out of the way a little bit from the bottom make sure you get a nice long line too and try to keep part of that angle you got in there and there you go so a little bit lighter here darker there because this is closer to the window and this is a pretty cool effect. 
and that's how you would do this. And again, I would replicate this on the other two windows to create depth. Um, this is a 3D image, so you, you, there's and there's light coming through all three of those windows. So that's really really important if you want to make this image as realistic as possible. Now another twist that you can do that I played around with that would look good but it's not really part of the tutorial would be to add a little warmth to this image. Now make sure that it right now it's a grayscale image. I took that from my archives and uh, for some reason I grayscaled it. Make sure it's in RGB mode. No, do not flatten. We want to put an adjustment layer in here. So we want to create a color balance adjustment layer. So we'll do that. And then what we want to do let me bring that adjustment layer palette up here. You want to put some yellow in there and a little bit of red. So I'm putting in a little bit of sepia in there, just like that. And I love it the way it is right now. So there you go. That could be a little bonus. It makes it warm for me. You know how I like warm and cold stuff, I, even though black and white can be nice. All right, so let's look at it before and after and with a little bit of sepia in there and that's how you would create a sun ray using Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Yannick Chauvin signing out. See you next time. Bye bye.